Fisher versus Jamshedpour. It's right here and it's right now. So it's only the solitary change then for Sergio Loberia as Butia comes straight back into the starting lineup and it's Lenny that will drop down. Well, you heard it from the horse's mouth there, so it's just a solitary change for the Red Miners tonight as Pratik Telavi is suspended after picking up his fourth yellow of the season in the last run from the fullback position and Jahu finding him on the long balls. But they are coming in will also give them that give him that sense of freedom that Jahu will sit and he can go attack the balls if needed. The champions elect are on the board. The countdown is on. Kickoff is imminent. Let's football everybody. So Disha going from right to left in their change strip of yellow and blue a little bit surprised about that robin they've gone for a white strip they want it all white all clear all clean and that's the kind of problem in a row it's a great ball floated in free header tapping krishna oh the referee's given that decision or is he given a free kick it doesn't look as though it's an offside the referee's blown the whistle and has given a free kick mauricio krishna Ball in from Shahul Delgado, rattles the woodwork. He got there first, and the danger's not clear. Isak hangs one up on the far post. Delgado again with a head out. Mauricio on the turn. Close down anywhere will do from Jam Shedpour, but they are causing havoc. He'll go again. Shahul with a ball in. Decent ball, free header. Well, they're just getting free headers at will. On his Ray with a little bit of time and space. Nickel on this near side. Three white shirts in the box to aim for. Nickel went for it himself. Amrinda stayed big and strong. On the road in six games at Jamshedpur. That was, of course, last time out. As that snapshot comes in and it finds the bottom corner from Ray. Ray Tachikawa, again from outside the box, gets his second of the season. But it was out of absolutely nothing. A fantastic strike. And against the run of play, Jamshedpur take the lead. Jamshedpur FC pausing. All of Odisha FC's hopes of dominating this game with getting an opener in the game. Manzoro plays that long ball. Jerry with the heavy touch. And Tachi Kava taking advantage of that. That's that long touch, and that's that first time snapshot. Oh, Disha will come, you know that. But see out, lovely ball, Krishna onside. Scott Cooper's going ballistic on the sidelines. Krishna delivers, Isak! It is as simple as that! Brilliant, brilliant football from Odisha. The one-touch passing, the movement, the transition from defence to attack. Isak Raute in the right place at the right time and we have an even bigger game on now what a ball that is from Roy Krishna Jahu doing very well Kutaya doing even better to find Roy Krishna and then Roy Krishna just putting it on a platter for Isa to tap it in and get the equaliser for the evening but what a run from Roy Krishna and that head up with a slight look and that ball is beautiful absolutely perfect so far. <laughs> Krishna misses it Isak Raute bends one in but it's just a little bit too high ball whipped in again to that near post area the little flick was dangerous Amrinda spills it stabbed home from Sanan but the flag has gone up this will be an interesting one ball Mauricio Mauricio drives in Mauricio pulls it back and it's pushed into the path of Krishna who for the second time this season just taps one into the far corner it's his first of the night it puts him onto six eclipsing the five he scored last year for BFC and Odisha again score in the 31st to the 45th minute to make it nine goals in that period of time and the drinks break working yet again in the favor of odisha i think there's some magic portion been giving to the Sudis fc team at, our, at that drinks break and roy krishna gets odisha second but diego Moritz, you're doing ever so well just to be physically present toe poke that ball in because he knows his strike partner is present right there
Renish helps it a little by just tapping it into his well, way. His. Who's yours? Who did you score against? Oh, is that a penalty? The whistle's gone, the hands go up. And again, it's those lost causes that you've been talking about, Robin, that these players are not giving up on. And Mauricio is going for power straight down the middle. And now, not only does that mean Odisha will go into the break with a two goal lead but they just can't stop scoring between this 31st and 45th minute. They come alive. They've come alive and how? Diego Maurizio gets onto the score sheet with a powerful penalty, just down the middle. When in doubt, just smash it out. And that's exactly what it done. He just smashed it through the middle. TB Renes gets his hands them. Eight different scorers so far, and there could be another one. Christian! in there that's exactly what has happened Jamshedpur are capitulating Odisha are not turning the screw they're hammering in the nail because that's got to be the final nail in the coffin of this half when you just thought it was going to be 3-1 at half time it's not Roy Krishna says no let's make it four what a first 45 minutes it's turned out to be for Odisha. That's good work to begin with from Isak Rate. And that's another assist to his name. Paying the favour off again, what Roy Krishna did for him, he does for Roy Krishna. And Roy Krishna just smashes that in towards the bottom. He's everywhere tonight. There is the half-time whistle, justified. There's no question about that. And the star of the show undoubtedly has been Roy Krishna, a brace from him, one in the 36th minute and two minutes into stoppage time means that he has got himself a couple of goals, Mauricio has added to his tally as well, Isak Ralte means that four goals have been scored in that first half, that is going to be the big question. It is Jamshed for going from right to left that will get us underway through the middle, he's gone 50, 60 yards with it, Chima Chukwu, Chima Chukwu, <laughs> nearly gets one back, that actually goes down as a fantastic save from Amri. Shadows at the moment as Krishna gets played in, Krishna for his hat-trick, Venice this time stood big and strong, has conceded the corner to the top of the table, Range shot coming in, but it's always high and wide. Just leaning back and off balance was right. I'm showing that they very, very much are in control. Mauricio turns, big Mauricio, big save. That was a big save from Rennes. That's for sure. All given away there from Amajahu again. Chukwu, Jimmy Chukwu finds Lendongo. Lendongo. Butia, Krishna. Ranawadi is in behind. Can Ranawadi get his second of the season? Venice with a big save. Ball gets there. Ball fired in. Now at the far post with the header. And Ringa drops it and gets away with it. He's having a goal as well at Chima Chukwu. But again, it's just like the first half. Alipuya. Manzaro. Little dink over the top, a real chance, good save from Amrinda. Nikhil came from absolutely nowhere, attack that ball. Outlet of attacks and not just slow down attack. Can they do that here? There could be a real chance and a real opportunity. Everybody bursting into the box, and it gets at the far post. Selfish in the end, really, really selfish. There is the full time whistle. Deserved. Absolutely deserved. They dominated the first half, grew into the game, and when they grew into the game, the goals came as well. Two assists 